in, in praying with today's scripture passages, one, the first from St. Paul's letter to the Philippians and the second from the Gospel of Luke, I am drawn to two, to two lines from each of those readings. In the first reading, I'm drawn to, in your minds, you must be the same as Christ. That is, the second reading, go and make sure my house is full. In your minds, you must be the same as Christ. That is, go and ensure my house is full. You know, beloved in Christ, those of us who have a house or a home have religious, social, and ethnic and psychological criteria for inviting persons into our space, into our homes. Naturally, our culture has socialized us to give us these criteria. So we have criteria for selecting our friends. We have criteria for selecting persons who we invite for dinner, for party, for a lime. And we have criteria for selecting persons with whom we associate. This pattern of social behavior is quite normal. It is it's quite healthy. This pattern of behavior is considered a mindset or an attitude. However, the meanings unveiled in today's scripture readings invites us to consider going beyond these socially established attitude to go beyond a socially shaped mind in other words how can we move beyond those socially established mindset and go into those places that are unfamiliar those territories that are unfamiliar outside of the comfort zone of which we have been socialized in response to this question St. Paul says we must adopt the mindset or the attitude of Christ St. Paul gives therefore Jesus Christ as the model of how you and I can go beyond how we have been socialized and so Paul says Christ's attitude Christ's mindset was one of humility though Christ had the condition though Christ had the form of God that is divinity he didn't regard equality with God something to be exploited in other words beloved in Christ though Jesus of Nazareth was divine he did not exploit his divinity he resisted he did not resist being a refugee in Egypt Christ did not resist staying in Jerusalem at age 12 when he was invited to return home. Christ did not resist. The, he resisted rather the temptation to turn stone into bread. Christ did not leave or abandon the cross in order to save himself. Rather, Jesus relinquished his divinity and he became like a slave. He allowed himself to become powerless. He gave up honor. He gave up riches and he experienced the ultimate destiny of a slave, which is death. In other words, what Paul is saying about Jesus Christ is that Jesus Christ left the comfort zone of his castle and he went into the forest he went into unfamiliar territory he went into unknown territory of humanity the mess and the mock of humanity the parable that very beautiful parable that we have been given in Luke's gospel unpacks the mindset of Jesus Christ 
who, like the man in the parable who prepared this great banquet, relinquish social views, relinquish social practices, relinquish social norms, and goes and invites persons outside of his social class. He humbled himself to invite those who are crippled, the blind, the poor, the lame. In other words, beloved in Christ, what the two readings are saying to us is that the mindset of Christ is to go, is to step outside of our religious, social, mental, ethnic comfort zone and invite those into a relationship with God to invite those who are normally excluded and so beloved in Christ what is the missionary challenge that is given to us today I think the missionary challenge that is given to us today um, Cardinal the late Cardinal Sunez one of the early pioneers of the charismatic movement he, he once says he was a Belgian Cardinal and he once says a frozen people referring to the Catholic Church in fact he says a frozen people have become he says a chosen people have become a frozen people I think the missionary challenge that the late Cardinal was giving to us and still gives to us is that you and I have to melt away this Christian unconscious attitude that says religion is about preserving and maintaining my personal spirituality my religious obligation without concern for those who have been excluded from Christ's banquet this idea that is to preserve and maintain my spirituality it means that you and I have locked ourselves away in our castles with no concern beyond the walls of the castle it's to melt away that attitude that mindset and finally finally you and I can understand the thinking and the mindset of Pope Francis yesterday the Vatican released an explanation an understanding of what Pope Francis had said two weeks ago and finally we, we we've come to understand that Pope Francis's clarification is simply this no one should be left out no one should be isolated no matter who you are everyone must be included and so the clarification has shown that Pope Francis's purported statement with regard to, 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 to same-sex unions and homosexual is in light of his encyclical Fratelli Tutti in which in that encyclical he presents the parable of the Good Samaritan and he's telling us that the world has become like the priest, like the Levi in the, in the parable. We, we pass away people. We pass by people. We neglect. And he's saying, no, we must become the good Samaritan to those who are wounded, to those who live outside of the castle. And to bring them into the castle. And this is why today we are celebrating the, 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 the memorial of one Martin de Porres, the son of a mother of African descent, the son of a free slave and a Spanish noble in Peru, and a legitimate son. And when his sister was born, his Spanish noble father abandoned them. So from very young, as a child, Martin de Porres knew what it meant to be humiliated. He knew what it meant to live outside of the castle. And even when he became a, a Dominican friar, he still experienced being excluded because of his illegitimacy, because of his mixed race. He was not able to become a priest, and so he became a lay brother and given menial jobs. But because Martin de Porres felt what it meant to be a slave, to be humiliated, his ministry 
his ministry especially was to serve orphans those who were isolated his ministry was to to minister to those slaves as they came off the ships and he provided food and clothing for them and so today Martin de Porras is known as as the patron saint of mixed race people of barbers innkeepers public health workers those seeking racial harmony Martin de Porras beloved in Christ like Pope Francis is telling us no one must be excluded that you and I must leave the comfort zone of the way we have been socialized leave the comfort zone of our castles and go into the forest go into the mess and muck of human lives and invite them to experience human dignity invite them to experience inclusion invite them to experience the sacredness of their humanity so the challenge is yes it's okay to be socialized in a particular way yes we all have been socialized in our castles but the invitation is can we leave the castle walls and go into the forest go into the mess and muck of people's lives do not exploit our privilege of living in the castles but go into the forest and the mess and muck of people's lives and encounter those who have been dehumanized those who have been excluded and bring them into the castle bring them into the house of the lord for that is fundamentally beloved in christ our mission